Hey everybody, today we are unboxing and assembling the AgriFab 40 inch toe plug aerator. It's got 24 galvanized knives, it's got a weight tray that holds up to 140 pounds, and it's got 10 inch flat free tires, so that means they're kind of like hard plastic. And we're going to get this unboxed and put together here, and with any kind of luck, we're going to use it. Now, I've read a lot of the reviews and Normally, I am a look at the picture and put it together kind of guy, but the reviews say that you better follow the instructions because you're going to end up taking something back apart to put it together. So we're going to look at this. We're going to see what it's like, and we're going to get it put together. So let's get this going. We're going to open it up and look at the instructions. All right. I already got the tape cut. It's a peel open box. Here's these big 10-inch uh, hard plastic tires I was talking about. This looks like, well, there's some boxes here of... I'll bet some small pieces. So I'm going to start setting pieces aside and that way we can look at everything. All right. So I got everything taken apart. That way we can see everything. And there are two little boxes of stuff. These actually look like the aerator pluggers. So there's a whole box of those. Here's a, another bag of important looking stuff. Lots of nuts and bolts, lots of little pieces. Here's a couple other pieces. And there it is. Now one thing I did do here is kind of lay out all the bolts. Uh, I like to do that ahead of time just so that I know what I'm looking for. So we will get to the instructions and start assembling here. Look at these things. This instructions. Well, here's the first page telling you all the parts. Wow. Figure one, figure two. So figures must mean steps. So step one, step two. I mean there's a lot of little steps here so I'm not gonna walk you through everything I'm just gonna kind of build this as I follow the instructions and we'll give you a speeded up version it took me five to ten minutes to unbox everything and get it set up so we're gonna officially start here at yep, 158 so we're gonna see how we do all right I gotta warn you look at this those uh, spikes are those spikes are very sharp so be careful you can cut yourself I just did this taking all the bolts out of the box Wow yeah, those babies are razor sharp. I just barely touched it. And eh, I got a flesh wound. Alrighty, so I got all the bolts and nuts out for the aerator pluggers. And as I mentioned, these are sharp. So the first thing we're gonna do is every one of these pieces, there's eight bushings. We're gonna get those in each end here. Then on the outside, on the outside of each one. So on these, they're gonna go like this. And on these, they'll go like this. All right, so we got these all put together. That was, actually that took about 25 minutes. I'm just gonna set these over here out of the side so that I can work on the rest of this here. Now the next step, it says we take a wheel bracket and we put on the post here. Now, there's this hole, you can see this side is longer than that side. And it says short side, so way this goes here on the short side. So we're going to start assembling this. And then we're going to start assembling these on this. That looks like the most difficult part because there are a lot of all those plastic washers and everything that kind of slides on to keep everything separate. So let me get my 7 16 and we'll get going. <laughs> all right, so now we got that set up. So we are going to need one of these and one of these. According to this, we take, we're working on the short side, so we're gonna go thick washer, there is only one of these, and a one inch spacer. That thing popped off, so look at that, it's starting to look like something. And then in between these, is a 1.3 inch spacer. Then this guy. Then we need another 1.3. And we need a three quarter flat washer. And that is it for that step. So now we turn this around, go to the next instruction. Looks like this goes to the middle. Well, we're gonna double check these before we tie everything together here. This is so far so good. All right, so we got these together. This says, important part, do not tighten. 
until step eight. So my guess is you need a little bit of playroom to get this stuff on. So we're gonna go to the next step. All right, so I got myself another flesh wound here. Be careful as you move this stuff around because just a little scrape across these cuts. So we got a three quarter washer here, three quarter washer here. The reason they said leave this loose is because we're gonna need a little playroom to put this together here. It looks like the wheel bracket goes back away from that handle. So you wanna make sure you put them on both the same way. Alrighty, so we got the wheels on. Now we're ready to bout polish this thing up. So we're pretty darn close here. And it looks like what we need to do is get this piece, put the little handy dandy, uh, nice little lever on here. All right. Then we're gonna get this through here. Basically set this up so that we can move it around. All right. Well, pretty much there you go. Right now it is set to spike the yard. And when you're ready to pull it up and just tow it, you pull this forward and there's a little lock right here. So you pull it and set it over. Then you can tow it around your yard. Look at that. Not bad. Here's the final look at it. Both sides. So I might go pull some plugs in my yard. All right, so there you go. Uh, it is 3.49 right now. So it took me an hour and 50 minutes and I did this as quick as I safely could. Uh, I gotta say like one, two, three, four, four nicks. Uh, be careful, these things are sharp. So uh, it definitely takes close to two hours to put together. I mean, I took a couple water breaks. I did, this is definitely a two beer job, uh, but it's done and I can't wait to run it around the yard. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping. Click that thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a great day.